IT documentation. We know it's a tedious thing. Boy, howdy, right? That's why we built a whole product around it. Well, thanks for joining. And today, we'll be looking at a simpler way to get a basic documentation. Just imagine you can have a quick overview over your network maps, your topology maps, your VMware infrastructure. It's pretty awesome. And we're doing this agent-free, recurringly, and automatically. So check it out. There are numerous ways to look at the DocuSnap reports and data without actually opening DocuSnap. One way is the DocuSnap web client that you can host on your own, like locally, and it's HTML5, it's responsive, it's pretty awesome. Another way, actually, is our index.htm. In DocuSnap, we have, for example, this functionality where you get the topology map and you can click on the switch and you see what is connected on which port. The great thing is the whole data is gathered recurringly, agent-free, and automatically, and the data is correct because it's not manually done. So use this and use the reports in a DocuSnap knowledge base, in a, in a DocuWiki, in a MediaWiki, in a Confluence, in a SharePoint Online, whatever floats your boat. Let's check it out. In order to get this interactive IT documentation from a, just a simple inventory, we of course need some data first. So for that case, you can run the network scan, the initial scan, and inventory all the things. Once we have some snapshots, we can switch to documentation, and there we are selecting the tenant, and we are opening up documents, and in order to get this created, we need to create a docu. That's the button on the top left, and by selecting it, you will get a wizard that'll guide you through, through all the things. Important for you is to check the box that we want an alternative documentation path, in our case, the English folder here, and we want the whole thing as an HTML documentation. Now, confirm the selection with next, and start with the domain selection. Next thing will be the network maps, where you can preview the layout and check some boxes if you like to include IP systems, if you want to group the IT assets, that's your way to go. Now, by applying the whole thing and confirming with next, we are jumping to the next section. Rinse and repeat, and define whether you want to show some comments in those reports as well, and uh, if you're happy with it, just connect comments to Active Directory, and DHCP, Exchange Server, SQL Server, we can also select if you want to have the uh, ER diagrams, and of course have a preview on that as well. In my case, this makes not that much sense, because the demo database is pretty fragmented, so I'm only selecting this one here, and apply with confirm. Next thing is the VMware infrastructure, that's pretty awesome. Be sure to check out the preview sections because you'll be able to add additional information here to your visualization. I do prefer this layout because it lets me quicker see the connections here on a small scale. And once I have all these plans and maps and I like them, I am confirming with apply. I miss Hyper-V data, that's why I uncheck this box and I also don't have any data in the Xen Center. And uh, once you're through with that, you will get overviews and summaries. And by confirming, we can double check if all that makes sense for us. In our case, let's just be happy and confirm with next. And step number 15 is the scheduling. This is pretty important because that way you can plan this and plan this in a recurring manner. So you could say, let's create this basic documentation every Friday on 4 p.m. And we want it p.m. Now, by finishing, we would just have it scheduled. In our case, let's just start right away and we will get some status updates here and you will also see if some information doesn't work that well with a yellow bar or a red bar. Let's see how we proceed. All right, once that thing is over, you get an overview of what was successful and what was not that successful. Obviously, I had no data here because it's my demo database. Let's confirm with close. Now, the next step is to create an overview using the generated documents in the documentation path that we used the first time. Again, here, I use the English one and confirm to get a summary and you would get a scheduling or you can start right away. Obviously, it's important for you to schedule this thing after you had the create of documentation. 
scheduled because it needs the data. So uh, we're done here. Let's close that thing and look into the folder. This is my folder and this has just been generated. And by confirming here, I get the index.htm and I can look at the network map and I can also click at the assets and have an interactive overview. And let's double check if everything worked well with our VMware. And that looks good indeed. And uh, how about the ER diagram of our SQL server? Well, my data still has some room to grow here, but you have the relevant diagrams that you wanted. These were the quick steps to get all this information in a basic manner, really within 10 minutes, basically. And it's pretty awesome because the data is correct. You know, uh, less human error there. And of course, use the data to share it with your colleagues, with your customers, however you need it. So it's awesome. Stay safe and keep in mind, DocuSnap, we understand IT.